we're sort of trying to approximate um, uh, about three parts clay, I'm sorry, about, about three parts sand to one part clay. This already has a lot of aggregate in it, so it's not as clear as if I said, okay, one part of this to three parts of that. As soon as we get water, we'll miss this pile and start uh, moistening it so that we get just enough moisture in there that we can tamp it when it's in the bag and it'll lock those clay particles, remember the clay platelets and the sand and the, and, um, and the aggregate, it'll lock together. Okay, so we have our mix of earthen material, it's moistened and we're going to be putting it in here. Um, there's some great little techniques that have been developed around earth bag construction and one of them has to do with preparing the bag itself and it's called diddling the corners. <laughs> so basically what you're doing is making it kind of like a grocery sack with that, that corner that's tucked in. What happens is that allows you to get a nice square corner without a, a big ear sticking out when it's filled. Yeah, I sort of pull them in at this point and then when I get some material in there, I make sure that they stay diddle uh, and then I'll lightly tamp that in to, to sort of lock that in. The first thing you're going to do is put a little bit of uh, material in and I'm really trying to direct it on top of those diddled corners. Because really what I want is I want to get it tamped right down the middle and then make sure that those, those corners stay little. So at this point, then I'm going to take this and just in the middle, really work the middle. And just harden it a little bit down, down the middle. And what that does is it helps me get a real firm uh, corner on it. You want it to sort of fill straight up, so if you guys can kind of fold it up just a little bit, just like a bag stand might do, I'm going to seal it with a 16 penny nail or two. But after that, I can lean the other bags right into it, so it doesn't have to happen like that. So. We're going to be leaning the bag in this direction, so my last tab is going to be something that is, comes up. You don't want to be doing it this way towards the ground. So I'm going to take this and basically sew it through here. These bags are really easy sometimes. They're a little bit trickier. back down in place and it looks like this great big big fat baby right we're going to leave it like this even though this isn't the shape we wanted eventually until we put the next bag in the next bag and the next bag this way because what we want to happen when we actually tamp it we want it to spread down and lock against the the other bags you want to start your coursing start placing your your bags or bales at a corner or a door opening or something like that and move into the middle. You want your full structural bales or bags at corners and openings. And then if you get to the middle and say you have 12 inches left, then you can make a custom size bale or custom size earth bag. What happens when you have a way too big bag, a bag that's wider than you want it to be? So I showed a little trick where you sew the bag smaller and then turn it inside out. And you have a bag that's the right size bag. If you have a bag stand, you can really get, get good at filling it to the same height every time because you can put a mark on that bag stand. 
So you always want to uh, fill your bag in place because you don't want to have to move these things, right? Um, and if you're working with four point barbed wire, I would have a piece of sheet metal with a little edge, a handle on it, that the barbed wire would be down in between the courses of earth bags. I put my next earth bag on, on on top of that slider. Then when I got ready to lay it down, I could get it right in place, just where I wanted it. Pull the slider out, drop it on the barbed wire, and it locks it in, so it doesn't slide around. Typically, you want to be scooping out of a wheelbarrow, so you're not bending over constantly. If you're doing a repetitive motion, you really want to set up your job site, your tools, your materials, so that you're doing things ergonomically. Everybody get up on the bags. We're going to see if we can all fit. Okay? If we had a square, we would start rotating and walking all the way around. Okay? And we would um, then uh, pass out tampers to people around the circle so they'd just be dropping it as they walked around. Okay?